they're finally getting the lead out in South Riverdale. In the East Toronto community has been trying to get lead contaminated soil removed for years and today the provincial government started taking action. It kicked off a massive cleanup project. Ron Azawa has the details. This is a neighborhood party that South Riverdale residents have been wanting to throw for 15 years. They're finally getting lead contaminated soil removed from their backyards. 25,000 cubic meters worth. 15 years of community work has now been justified and that our children's health will be protected. The residents had complained about lead in the soil because tests showed their children have twice as much lead in their blood than children in other parts of the city. We did have a garden in back there and we had to dig it all up because the, the vegetables were all contaminated by it. They lobbied the provincial government hard and today they hit pay dirt. The government officially announced the beginning of a cleanup that could cost up to $8 million. Cleanup will consist of scraping the soil uh, where there's 500 parts per million and over. Uh, we'll go down 30 centimeters. In addition to that, the houses will be cleaned, so the lead inside the houses uh, is taken out, the lead dust. And in addition to that, there's a health study taking place. Even the city is absorbing some of the cost. We're also going to be contributing. Uh, we haven't determined the uh, final amount yet, but uh, we're looking in the neighborhood of about 25% of the cost. But residents and politicians want somebody else to get the lead out and pay for some of the cleanup. The Canada Metal Company down the street. It's considered the main source of the lead. And I would hope within the next couple of weeks that uh, we would have uh, an agreement from them that they're prepared to make a financial contribution. I've indicated very clearly we're prepared to go to court to get that financial contribution if they're not prepared to cooperate. Well, the company says it's willing to discuss the issue, time. but... Uh, one of the big problems we have with this whole program is that the uh, city and the Minister of the Environment have seen fit to replace the soil, even though their, their own advisors have stated that they can't predict whether it's going to do any good or not. I find it very difficult to commit substantial funds of money for a program that cannot be, its value cannot be proven. The massive cleanup is expected to take about two years to complete. 200 houses will be done by the fall, another 800 by the end of October 1988. That's a projection that's clear cut and easy to make. The tough ones are, will Canada Metal end up footing some of the bill? And if so, how much? Ron Azawa, CBC News, Toronto.